anybody had any uh beans lately? Anybody have any uh, uh canned corn lately? Anybody have um coconut water? Some uh vanilla wafers, you know? Anybody have some uh Goya products? So um we're going to be talking about like the little uh, Goya drama that we have going on here, okay? So to catch you all up, um, a couple of days ago, the CEO of the company called Goya, which is a Latin food company who serve like Latin um, Latin dishes um, and other just like regular pantry items like canned corn, tomatoes, beans. They make some other stuff, but it's like pantry food, like pantry stuff that you'd find in the back of your pantry that you knew that you bought, but you haven't touched in like a couple of years. It's just like sitting there preserved and like stopped in, in time. It's like a McDonald's fry. You know, you're cleaning out your car. You know, you haven't had McDonald's in like the last like three years, but there's a McDonald's fry sitting under your like your your chair, like the passenger seat chair, like stuck between the door and the chair. And it's perfectly intact with abs- uh, like pristine, like you just got it from the store. OK. It's like that. Um, just just Goya, just Goya stuff. I've never heard of Goya either um, until this like whole debacle. OK, but the CEO of Goya um, uh, happened to stumble upon Donald Trump and he was talking with Donald Trump. He was invited, actually invited to the Rose Garden and the CEO of Goya um, said to Donald Trump that, hey, we are blessed. America is blessed like manna falling from heaven to have a president like you, Donald J. Trump, while he was speaking to Donald Trump in the Rose Garden, okay? He, he was like, uh, MAGA. And then Twitter Twitter blew up. Obviously, there was boycott Goya going on, never buy another Goya product ever again, or at least do it for a little bit like until they like um, dis, d- disassociate themselves from Goya. Now, this wasn't just like your white like Twitter libs doing this. This was actually like Hispanic people doing it, because if you remember the whole when when Mexico sends its people, they aren't sending their best. If you remember, Donald Trump is actually the guy who said that Um, the hey, this Mexican judge can't uh, uh, can't uh, can't judge my border wall case because he's Mexican and we know Mexicans don't like me. Um, You know that that uh, Donald Trump is the same guy who did that. Okay, so. with that being said, uh, obviously a fair amount of Hispanic people weren't very happy with um, what is a big uh, fixture in American society. If you may have walked by it, like other all the other like known like um, like uh, obscure brands with weird names that you just kind of like your eye just glazes over while you're walking through the like mountains of like the ten foot tall aisles of just like stuff in um in in walmart while you're looking for the like uh fettuccine noodles and you're choosing between like the fettuccine noodle uh made by like great value and the fettuccine noodle made by like Velveeta or whatever okay um but for uh, for a lot of hispanic people goya is a pretty big product and lots of hispanic people obviously weren't feeling too hot on them praising this president who has exacerbated the crisis on the border, um, done the border wall thing, you know, very poorly, uh, you know, said said the things he said about Hispanic people, especially Mexicans coming up from the border, the hard push on the MS, uh, MS-13 and like insinuating that a lot of immigrants are violent, bloodthirsty criminals who uh, uh, pole vaults over the vo- uh, over the border with their throbbing hard cocks to um, uh, uh, to uh, uh, destroy a blonde haired blue eyed white women because uh, and uh, to push uh, mulatto babies on the uh, poor helpless American populace or whatever something something along those lines he didn't say that exactly obviously but uh, you know uh, you know if you if you have a certain predilection you get the picture okay and um, so Trump being the showman that he is decided to come out with a um, with a pic let me see if I can can I find this Can I find this picture? Uh, Here it is. Uh, Trump decided to run with this as much as he can. And uh, he did this, if you haven't seen it. Uh, He he did this. He just sent out one of the um, he just sent out one of the um, Secret Service members to go to like Washington, D.C.'s local Walmart to pick up like five Goya products. One is like fava beans or whatever like onion powder 
coconut water and chocolate wafers so Donald Trump can line them up on the desk and give his signature thumbs up in the Oval Office on the Resolute desk. He didn't basically make an ad. He literally made an ad for Goya out of the drama so he could capitalize on it. And with that being said, um, <laughs> Ivanka, um, not not to be left out, decided to. Oh, let me wait. Can I pull this up? I didn't prepare this. Uh, Ivanka Trump uh, decided to uh, take this one step further with herself to prop up uh, Goya as well in the um, in the free marketplace of ideas to show that, uh, you know, if it's Goya, it has to be good. This is literally just an ad for a company who just said that Trump is OK. And she even went to Google Translate uh, to put this uh, here as well. I cannot I cannot pronounce this. I am not less Spanish. Um, but, you know, she uh, she decided to put this as well. But holding up a, a, a little bag, a little uh, can of frijoles negros, um, black beans. This is this is like beyond satire, you know, um, every time I think of the Trump administration, I think it's like beyond satire, you know, they they're just like putting this all together in this weird little amalgamation and um, and, and thinking it really means something. And the weirdest part of, I mean, the weirdest part about it all is that it dripped over into Trump's fan base like the, the, the Trumples and um, they're literally going to their local stores to buy massive amounts of like product from Goya. They're just going there and buying as much Goya as they can, just filling every orifice they have with Goya, just Goya, just dripping from their walls, uh, from, from everywhere that they, everywhere that it can, you know, this person Matt had a massive haul they don't even know what to do with it. Learning several recipes, best quality food. I'm not even sure if Goya even makes that good of food. But do you really think that these people who bought bags after bags of chickpeas, um, Maria cookies, olive oil, generic black beans? What is this? Is this corn cornmeal? enhanced rice do you really think that these people are going to use like all of this do you really need four cases of olive oil i feel like a lot of this food is just going to go to waste and i mean it's the american way you know we're living a life of a uh, 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 ab like uh, absurd opulence buying peach peach goya you know just vanilla wafers they just go out to their local uh, supermarket to buy as much product as they can to support their boy. Do you really think these guys are going to use this much? Like, oh, they already opened one. I, <laughs> they got, they love Goya so much they cracked open this can with their bare hands to grab all <laughs> grab some kidney beans. Just like straight up, straight up, dude. I mean, can't can't hit on that. Just, just absolutely clearing clearing the case. Um, to stick it, stick it to them, stick it to them libs, uh, stick it to them libs for not liking Goya or something or Donald Trump, I guess. Um, and the Trump administration, uh, has used this to, to parlay a little bit. Uh, the Trump administration isn't just using this to promote a brand that is somewhat favorable of them which isn't really true necessarily because Goya uh, the CEO of Goya the same exact CEO of Goya because this person has been the CEO of Goya for like a while I think since 2004 um, did like literally the exact same thing with Ob with Obama they went to the I'm not sure if it was like the Rose Garden but the Goya CEO was with some other CEOs I think or they met private uh, uh, per, uh, like uh, Singly, I'm not sure exactly, but he met with Obama and said like literally the exact same thing. The only thing is that this time they actually didn't expect any backlash from the Hispanic or um, American populace at all. They, they, they honestly didn't expect it. The guy was like, I'm genuinely surprised that people were uh, were kind of uh, were kind of, you know, fucked up about this, you know. 
And this shows a, uh, a lot about how these people are so checked out of politics. And I, I don't know, dude. I don't know how you're the CEO of a company that has a lot of roots in the Hispanic community here with a president who's been pretty openly antagonistic against many Hispanic communities in this country and or the ones who are trying to get into this country. Um, and saying that 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 in w- not realizing that this would be a problem, you know, you know, Shea Moisture. Do you know Shea Moisture? Um, anybody watching this? Because I use a lot of Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture is usually a product that's associated with black people. Um, uh, a lot of African, you know, they use a lot of African uh, uh, black soap. Um, they work a lot in Africa uh, as well to get a lot of um, uh, products there. Jojoba oil is one of those things that they uh, is uh, like another big uh, staple piece of their um. Uh, uh, of their products, um, not as much as black African soap because black African soap is in like literally everything that they make. And it's expensive as hell, dude, too. It's crazy expensive. Um, this is like them coming out like with Trump and like the CEO of like Shea Moisture being like, Trump is a great guy and like not expecting like a backlash from like the black community. I mean, like obviously this is, this is going to happen. You should be like a little bit more cognizant of your, of like your, uh, not shareholders what's it called um not shareholders i forgot what it's called um the people like working there the people who have a stake stakeholders uh like your st- the stakeholders B- people love shea moisture people you know rely on a lot of like skin skin care with shea moisture i mean i this is just pretty obvious of something that would happen um but to get back on track trump isn't just using this to just promote ju- just promote goya they're using this as a weird little attempt to pander to the Hispanic community. If you remember on uh, Ivanka's tweet here, there's a reason why she put um, she said the same thing again. Oh, you can like look, look. Yeah, if it's good, if it's Goya, it has to be good. There's a reason why she put this here in Spanish is because the Trump administration and the Trump campaign is trying to reach out to Hispanic voters. They're trying to do this a lot and they're trying to use this as a big wedge. OK, Trump has been on. Trump has gone on. Trump and his cronies have gone on to talk about how the left are super anti-Hispanic. Look at them getting mad at this uh, uh, this this hallmark of the His- American Hispanic community. Goya. And they're trying to paint themselves as the uh, pro Hispanic, um, uh, the pro Hispanic side of the aisle by pushing a massive corporation's beans. They're trying to win over the Hispanic vote with beans. Now, if that isn't the most patronizing thing I've ever heard, I don't know what is. This is like someone trying to win the black vote by uh, by meeting up with like Lil Wayne. OK, um, maybe some like substantive um, like some 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 like substantive policies that he could offer to the Hispanic community would maybe make them more uh, uh, maybe make his uh, uh, um, candidacy more palatable to them. But maybe that's just too much to ask for Donald Trump. Maybe maybe we don't have to give them like actual like tangible policy proposals that will make their lives better. What if we just promote beans? We all know damn Mexicans love beans. It is kind of like beyond satire at this point. You know, this is this is really ridiculous, crazy levels of just um, uh, like ineptness and uh, 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 being so s- unaware. So like. Unaware of like your surroundings and the situation that you're in, I talk about this like it, almost in every segment now I talk about how it's harder and harder for me to believe that Donald Trump is genuinely looking for reelection in the way that he's been handling his reelection campaign. It's honestly been terrible. And this is just another list and a long line of of like critical missteps and just crazy ideas popping out of his campaign. You know, and like to to put the lichpin of the new culture war on beans to try to reach Hispanic voters is just hilarious. I mean, I don't and I mean, I'm not sure how many people are taking this as a joke. I feel like not many people. I feel like they're genuinely think that they're supporting the president or like conservative values or something. 
by buying one hundred dollars worth of worth of chickpeas and cornmeal and canned coconut water or cream of coconut, my bad, not coconut water, and canned tomatoes. Is this really what is this really what is gonna do it? Is this gonna win the culture war? Conservatives have been on the losing foot of the culture war ever since it started. Like honestly, they have. Because they're always fighting against the inevitable, the progress of society. You cannot preserve everything that you can. Goya? Goya. I, I, I really like I've never heard of Goya before, before this. As far well, I think I have, but I've never like been cognizant of the name. But like Goya. Goya. That's that's really funny. <laughs> it's just a funny name. It's just a funny word. I like saying it. Um Absolutely hate politics, but what's going on in the world? Just, <laughs> just so I know. I personally, I love politics. I love politics. They're really, it's really fun to me. But um, this this ties back into like how the conservatives are losing the culture war. This feels like the last gasp of conservatives trying their best to reclaim what they've lost uh, when it comes to the culture war. They, I think, conservative culture really sucks. It kills people, like genuinely. I mean, if we look at like. Um, like roles that we have in society, we need a new Breitbart. Don't worry, it's Christ, it's Crystal and Sagers rising. That's that's left wing Breitbart. If if that's what you're asking, um, it, also that's true. That's a true statement. Sorry, you can't you, you can't change my mind on that. That's just true. That's like gravity. Okay. <laughs> um, I I'll never forget that tweet by Charlie Kirk saying we're losing our country, and a lot of other people, a lot of other conservatives harping on about how. Um, these last couple court case, uh, Supreme Court cases and everything, um, uh, losing uh, Louisiana, losing its um, um, uh, uh, its a uh, um, like uh, abortion bill uh, that they tried to push through to uh, have it so they only have one functional abortion clinic in all of the entire state since they can't literally ban abortion, uh, ban abortion anymore. They tried to get it overturned, that failed as well. Um, and how conservatives are now screeching and realizing that Trump isn't the competent God emperor who's here to own the libs through like memes and uh, being like a, like a super cool non-politician tough guy. It, th- them coming to realize over three and a half years, it took them three and a half years to realize that Trump is not fighting for them. Trump is not fighting for the working class. Trump is not fighting for you the conservative and Trump is not fighting for conservative ideals. Trump is literally just fighting to put more money in his and his friends pockets and stay out of jail as long as possible for him to enjoy the money that he can make. That's all he cares about. All right. That's why he filled his cabinet with golden Goldman Sachs members. That's why he filled his cabinet with lobbyists. That's why he do. Do we did We forget like did uh, did people forget that Donald Trump literally has foreign officials come and either explicitly or implicitly want them to stay in his D.C. Trump hotel while they're visiting the White House. Like, like, really? Do we all forget about this? Trump has just used the presidency to enrich himself. That's literally it. That's why Ivanka and um, some other like family members and some other friends are working, working in the White House, but but, uh, in like unofficial roles that, you know, Ivanka Trump is has like security clearance like high level security clearance with having no real um power in the federal government she has no role in the federal government because that just go against nepotism laws so she's just marked as a senior advisor to the president for like no reason while she uses her company to enrich herself i mean and they're doing the exact same here pushing goya uh, kellyanne conway herself kellyanne conway got in trouble with um, Kellyanne Conway got in trouble uh, um, with the government because she was pushing Ivanka's company, right? And now they're doing basically the same thing here. It's illegal for, if you didn't know, it's illegal for uh, uh, federal officials to come out and be in favor of a certain like product from a company. They just can't do it. You, you can't do that. You can't be like, oh, wow, I really love Walmart great value elbow macaroni. You, you, you can't do that. Um, it's illegal. 
What's what's crazy is conservatives have principles and the Dems don't. Yeah, Dems push uh, way more than <laughs> conservatives having principles. That's the funniest thing I've heard in my entire life. Conservatives having principles. Conservatives will go back on anything that they hold dear if it if it means that it'll gain them more power. If it means if it means it'll, that they'll own the libs. A, a conservative would eat a shit sandwich if they thought they can get a liberal to. Probably. Sorry, bud. Uh, I'm not conservative. Sorry. Um, I don't like conservatism and i think it's bad um conservatives are losing the culture war because they're fighting against the inevitable um the social progression of society in a globalized economy uh there's no way that conservatism can stand um uh tall and proud in the winds of ever uh, um, uh ever moving change uh our world is always agitating and moving Culture cannot be preserved. It cannot be. You cannot put everything in a little um, time capsule and try to make it um, as good as possible. Uh, you cannot go back to some fantastical imagined a better society. You can only move forward towards a better one. We don't have a time machine. You can't do that. But it won't stop them from trying anyways. And this is just a new a new attempt. And hopefully and it seems like it's going to be failed attempt to try to pander to another demographic that Trump feels like he can use to um, uh, get himself back into the presidency or at least take away um, uh, draw into like feeling like uh, they don't they shouldn't be voting for Biden or something to make his chances of winning re-election to be more feasible it's not looking very feasible right feasible right now but you know <laughs> maybe more feasible uh, feasible than it is uh, than being uh, 15 points down